Today we're going to continue on with our series of preparing for a satellite infrastructure. So we are going to continue on with the Fedora 36 server that we installed the other day and we are going to install and configure PyHole on it. So let's first log on to the server. Okay, now that we're on, we are going to install git first. So we'll go dnf install git. Say yes. Now what we're going to do is use git to clone pyhole down to our system. So that'll be git clone. Depth one, HTTPS, github.com, pyhole, pyhole.get, pyhole. Okay. And we'll change to pyhole automated install. And we are at root, so we do not need to use sudo. So we'll just do bash basic install and start the process. Okay. <laughs> First thing it found is SE Linux is in enforcing. It says PyHole does not provide an SE Linux policy as the required changes modify the security of your system. Hmm. I don't like disabling SE Linux, but unfortunately it looks like there's issues with it and it just does not play well. We can tell it to skip what it found, but it says that there could still be issues. Let's go into here and go vim, etc. Sysconfig SE Linux. <clears throat> We'll set it to permissive. It's not disabling it. It'll log everything so we can look in later on what's going on and um, help resolve the issue. I'm going to need to reboot the server. Give it a minute. Try logging back on. basic install. Let's try this again. This time I went through saying that SE Linux was impermissive. Okay. Right, okay. okay. We have a static one. We will use, for now, Google, or our upstream DNS provider. We're going to include these. Yes. We're going to install the required modules. I'm going to say yes. Show everything. Sure. Configure devices use the PyHole as their DNS server. So basically, we'll point any server, device, whatnot to this as the DNS server. 
Um, we're mainly going to be using this just in the lab environment for now. So let's hit OK. Oh, and the and we'll be looking at the admin um, interface in a minute. There is the default password, which will be changed. And we can change it with pyhole-a-p. OK, let's move on to the interface now. OK, I just tried connecting up to it, and it wasn't working. So I believe we have to open up some firewall commands. So we're going to do um, firewall cmd add service http permanent and we'll do https as well system ctl restart firewall d DNS2 while we're at it. Now we can go and try connecting again. Now we see that the PyHole interface is up. It was indeed the firewall that was blocking the connection. Which means by default, of course, um, Fedora 36 blocks all ports, which is good. All right, so let's log on the password. And just hit log on. And now we see our PyHole interface. But this will bring an end to this um, video. This one was basically getting PyHole installed and up and running. The next video, we will be installing a Red Hat 7 server and then installing and configuring satellite on it. Once we have the server up and running, we will then add it to the DNS in here for our forward and reverse DNS lookups. And that will um, allow us to install satellite. So thank you for your time today um, as I demonstrated how to install PyHole and some of the issues that you might come across. I will um, do some further research on the SE Linux and see if there's a way of getting PyHole to work properly with SE Linux. There should be a way, you would hope so. Right now I have SE Linux running in permissive mode. So it will log any issues it finds, but it will not actually take action on anything that comes across it. So it's always good to have SE Linux on, so I um, would highly recommend not turning it off, especially in a production environment. In a production environment, always find out how to properly configure SE Linux rather than turning it off. So until next time, have a good day, everybody.